Hi, okay, so let's design our FM transmitter. First, you want to go to Google and search for LT Spice. You will get to linear homepage and just go to the linear homepage. Go to download LT Spice for Windows 7, 8, and 10. Press it and you can register, but you can download without registration. Just press the no sense, just download the software. After you do this, please install the software. Next step will be to open it. When we open the software, we will go to File, New Schematic, and we will press the component button here on the top, uh, on the top bar. Here we will start with NPN transistor press OK and then you will have it on your mouse and just click on the uh, left button on the mouse and it will put it. Now you will press escape to remove uh, the uh, other uh, uh, transistor. Now if you will press the shift button and uh, move the scroll on your mouse you can get it bigger or uh, smaller. Next, we will take a inductor. We'll put it somewhere here. And again, escape to go out from it. And then the capacitor. And we'll press the capacitor and again the escape. Now I will do a little zoom out. You can also uh, move all the parts together by clicking uh, the left mouse after uh, putting them. Connecting it the between with the wire, we'll take the wire and connect the parts. Okay, so we'll connect the coil and the capacitor and the other side also to the collector of the transistor. Now it is not connected as you can see, so I will put another wire here. Okay, so this is a this is the inductor and capacitor. Now I don't want to go uh, too much into detail, but it works like this: <clears throat> the coil and the capacitor are the carrier of the frequencies that we wish uh, to transmit in, and basically goes like this and um, go like this I don't want again to go into too much detail but we can say that XL okay XL I will write it so you will be able uh, to see it again just a second when XL is equal to XC so this is the carrier frequency. Now XL is something that is called omega L. Omega L is omega and multiply with L. L is the value of the capacitor. Now XC is equal to a uh, one divided by again uh, it is a J omega and C. Now, omega, okay, it's, it should be here. Uh, the, the omega is equal to 2 multiply with F multiply with C. When uh, F is the frequency, In hertz, hertz are the units, and uh, C is the capacitor uh, in FARD. And what does it say? It says that when the impedance of the coil and the impedance of the capacitor are equal, so 
they will start to transfer energy between each other and the energy is transferring with, between them with the frequency of F which is the carrier okay so this is the carrier frequency now I will continue okay so now we need to connect the power source we'll connect from the power source to the circuit okay and um, we will take resistor if you want to take a resistor you just press R button on the keyboard and you get a resistor so I will connect now a resistor uh, now going to up okay so now I will connect this will be somewhere here and we will take a, a source source I don't have here a source so I will search for source okay one of them is the source I will find it in a minute okay voltage voltage is our source we'll explain in a second how to connect this is actually the battery power that we are using for the circuit so basically I suggest to put it something like 5 volts and, and now we need to connect two more capacitor one here and I will explain soon why we need all these parts <coughs> and another capacitor here now if I'm using a spice so I can say that all the components are ideal what is meaning ideal is that the capacitor doesn't have serious resistor and doesn't have serious uh, inductor which is not the case of course so we will soon change the parts to real parts and then we will continue from there so this is basically the transmitter part it's, so this is the carrier this is the transistor that will change a little uh, the carrier frequency as needed and this part here is for AC the capacitor is a short so meaning it is like connected directly from here to ground but this part of circuit enables the coil and the capacitor to oscillate in the required frequency because if the parts were not here so it won't be oscillate basically this is like taking these two parts and giving power to them and when the power goes off it will charge it again and again and again by the frequency of the sound that we will uh, soon uh, connect okay so we now need to connect BIOS to the NPN transistor so uh, it will uh, be able to work and uh, for this case I need to put another pull up resistor here another thing to do is to take a capacitor here and connect between the base and the ground this is again all these parts are enabling uh, the transistor to toggle and uh, not to be stuck at a specific frequency now we will take another capacitor for our antenna uh, if you want uh, to rotate it so you can press the move and then a uh, control with R will uh, rotate uh, the part okay so now we'll connect the antenna which is the output 
<coughs> and the antenna will connect with a resistor because SPICE can't compile it if it don't have a close count loop. So if you will not put a resistor here, so it will give us, we will not be able to measure uh, what we would like to measure in this case. So now next step will be uh, will be to connect ground. Again, SPICE will not work without ground. So I'm connecting the ground here to all the circuits. Now I need uh, to give values for the parts. So uh, I will put values and uh, and this is done by a uh, right click, right click when I'm on the component. So I will give it five volts. Serial resistance can be a uh, 0.1 ohm. This is pretty reasonable. Uh, I suggest here to take 4.7 K resistor and here to put a point microfarad this is already in far so micro is u other value are not important right now uh, we will put here a 1k resistor <coughs> here we will put one microfarad this will be 1k resistor this will be a 4.7 picofarad picofarad and here we will put again a 10 picofarad and in the coil we put something like 100 nano henry and the coil here will be, let's say, 47 picofarad. Okay, I think we are done with the component. Now, actually, all the components are ideal, which is not correct. So now I will transfer the components, especially the coil and the capacitor to real components. So I will press right click and I will select an inductor. So uh, this inductor uh, are 100 nano, which is 1 point, uh, 0.1 micro, it's the same. I will take each, uh, each one of, of these is uh, good enough. <coughs> okay, so also with the capacitor, we'll select real capacitors. You can take the first default value is good enough. So go part by part and change them to real parts. Transistor will pick a, a 2N3904 or the first one is also good enough. Uh, again, we'll select inductors and capacitor. Okay, here this is less important, this value. Okay, we have 4.75. This is okay for me. And uh, this one, we'll select X5R, good enough. And here, we'll select this one. Now I will give a net name so I will be able to know what I'm simulating. So I will take to label net and write antenna, which is the antenna, and I will put it here. This is the net set I would like to look at. 